Hello everybody, welcome back to Road Cottage. It's such a glorious day today. So we are planning on doing quite a bit of gardening today. So let's go have a look at what everyone's up to. This lot are crazy as always. Daddy, finding us! Daddy, please! <laughs> Don't you? They're just nuts. This is getting emptied today, so we can get a bit more garden space. And uh, Tali, look at this glorious blue skies. Andy here is doing some gardening already, and I will be joining him in a minute. What are you doing, Andy? Well, I'm not sure if it's the right time to, but they look like they need some space, so I am potting up the lettuces. Yeah, they are a bit crowded in there, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're very, very small for what I'm doing, but I'm being as delicate as I can. Hopefully, it'll mean they grow quicker because they've got a lot more space. So we're still experimenting with this whole gardening, backyard gardening um, stuff. So, but we're enjoying the experience, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's good fun. And uh, we still haven't decided what to do with the beds over there that could potentially be affected by this walnut tree. But I think we're a ways off planting anything in there yet, aren't we? Yeah, and we, we've ordered some raised bed wood. Oh, that's right. So we're going to lift up by about uh, 450 millimetres. Right, so if you don't know Andy and I, we, and we, we, hate, we hate it when we talk measurements. Andy does everything in millimetres because that's how his job works. And I'm like, is that one foot, two foot? Is that 50 centimetres? What? So 457 <laughs> millimetres is uh, 18 inches, which is a foot and a half. There you go, a foot and a half, I understand. This country is so mixed up when it comes to measurements, isn't it? It still does both metric and imperial, and it's so confusing. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll never be, you'll never be able to get away from it, because America's still imperial. Um, America's very big on imperial measurements, isn't it? I don't understand a lot of the American measurements, but... No, but I'm sure we, as we do more stuff that they do, then yeah. we'll get used to that. We yeah, will. Um, cool. Yeah, so they raised the beds by 450 millimetres or a foot and a half and then... Is that all we're doing? Just a foot and a half? Or we're not going to do higher? It's enough. It's enough. I told you already, didn't I? <laughs> Are you, you sure you're it's enough? You're forgetting. You're forgetting. I said, we'll do um, a foot and a half and we can always get a whole load more wood and stick it on top if it's not enough this year. All right. So budget wise, I think that's plenty. True. That's true. We and have to stick to the budget. Stick this these uh, metal sheeting across the bottom, aren't we? Just round the side of the bucket. Yes. So the reason for doing these raised beds is because we don't really want our veggies growing in the soil that the walnut tree roots are in. So if we raise them up, hopefully the with a false bottom. It's not a false bottom. It is a bottom. Yeah. To the bed. It's just a, a, something to stop the roots getting into the bed. Yeah. And It'll the, work out. And the chemicals that they. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go see what this lady over here is doing. So Connie is on chicken watch because one of our chickens has diarrhea and diarrhea in a chicken is not good. So we're trying to figure out which one it is. They all seem pretty perky. They all seem happy enough. Yeah, this, is, this is where they like to roost or nests or whatever it is you call it during the dust day. Bath. They give themselves a little dust bath, give themselves a shakedown. They love this little corner here. I'm not sure what it is, but they love it. And Magma is all on her own in there at the moment. Don't know if you can see her. She wandered off. She's behind the white fence. She's in there somewhere. I don't think it's Magma. I think it's Snowy, but... I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, there she is. Magma likes to make her dust bath in that corner there, so it's probably why she's not with the others. She's also frustrated that we have blocked off the chicken coop in an attempt to stop them pooping in there all the time. So it now has a door 
which you can probably just about see there. It's now got a door blocking its entrance. So they were locked in last night, they were let out this morning, and then I shut the door to stop them going back in. And uh, Magma has been trying to get back in ever since, so she's not happy with me this morning. But there's Esther, glugging away on her water. So yeah, so... Connie's having fun, aren't you Connie? She's enjoying it, she just loves watching the chickens as much as I do. <laughs> watching them poop. Watching them poop, so yeah. Her job is to watch them poo and see if she can spot which one has got diarrhea. So my money's on Snowy at the back there, the white one. My money's on Magma. Your Connie thinks it's Magma, the black one. I think it might be Snowy. I mean, I have seen like, a few like, diarrhea poops. You've seen, one yeah. There, one in there. We've seen two poops on the ground. We just haven't watched the chicken doing it, have we? And when they're lying down. It's much harder. What are you doing? So there we go. That's where we're at. Connie's on chicken watch. I'm going to go and help Andy do some gardening. The blackbirds are in the trees. The trees sprouting new growth. I love seeing new growth on the trees. It's beautiful. You guys probably can't see it. But... New growth is coming! Spring is here! It's all good, it's all good. Right, so uh, the kids still want to keep the tent in the garden for now, so that'll stay for a bit. And we're going to crack on with some gardening, aren't we, babes? Yep. Bye. See you later. I'm just trying the plant. Okay, this is going to seem like a really random thing to throw into a video today. But considering the toilet paper crisis that enveloped the world, it seems, two, three weeks ago, um, we were really thankful for the fact that we had a subscription to Who Gives a Crap Toilet Paper. And we literally, you, we, we, we were like panicking, thinking we're not going to get this next delivery in time before we run out, because we always seem to cut it just close. But there's no point increasing the subscription because then we'd have too much left over before the next box arrived. You know how it is. So anyway, we did end up having to buy some toilet paper. And now the delivery's arrived. And I'm so happy that it's here. <laughs> I do love Who Gives a Crap. They always make me giggle. Nice bum. <laughs> Now, I don't know what's been happening with deliveries in our area, but every single parcel delivery we've been getting for the last four weeks has arrived ripped or damaged. So this is the fairly decent size. The other side underneath has got a great big gouge in it. And when I went to lift the box up, this side fell out. So I haven't cut it or anything. It's just how it ripped open. So I'm just glad I didn't lose any toilet rolls. But here they are! I'm so thankful to have a new stock of toilet rolls! Precious, precious toilet rolls! My precious! I know, I know, I'm going all weird over toilet rolls. Who'd have thunk it, hey? What can I say? I'm relieved to have another six weeks supply of toilet rolls. <laughs> it's one less thing we have to panic about. So yeah, that's good news and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a scarf in such a warm day, but um, it's my time of the month. And as Andy will tell you, um, I always get freezing cold during these times. Uh, I could literally be in a fire pit. I would still feel cold. So, you know, go figure. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Andy's finishing up with some gardening, um, so that's cool. But the kids have had enough of being outside and they are now inside watching um, Green Eggs and Ham series on Netflix. Netflix has totally saved our butt during this quarantine. Oh yes. So what's Andy up to? I don't know because I can't see anything. There we go. 
See, so it's insulating the bike shed. I am. Why? Because you can. <laughs> because I have a whole load of this left over. And I can't bear to see it go to waste. Or, oh, well, actually, I can't even put it in the waste because the, at the moment, the dumps aren't open, so... So you might as well use it somewhere. Exactly. And don't think I don't notice you're using one of my kitchen knives. It's actually one of the best things for it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt and it harm it, so... I don't know about that. <laughs> so we now have toilet rolls. Aren't you happy? Thanks to Who gives a crap? Yeah. Don't swear. Sorry. <laughs> that was something the kids had to get used to, didn't they? They were like, Mummy, it says the C see word. That. You can't say C R A P. <laughs> it took them a while. They had a right old giggle, didn't they? Mm. And of course, who gives a crap? Always have some silly slogans on their packaging, don't they? Like, nice bum, or um, oh. cheeky cheeks. Carry on pooping. <laughs> Carry on pooping. <laughs> We're so childish. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping that this, gets, this is quite easy because there's a lot of big bits. Oh, you don't, like... It's weird though, isn't it? Because the bike shed is on the back of the garage, which has a window. So yeah. you'll just, through the window, you'll just see a bike shed. It's actually quite helpful at the moment. I haven't got a light in here. In the night, you can turn the light on in the garage and it shines into here. Ah! So. Good thinking. But I will have a light. Yeah, eventually. Here. You know, all plans. Big plan, big plan. Sometimes I think I'm, more, I'm too efficient with this stuff. Yeah, stop being so... so much left. <laughs> well, listen, all your hoarding that you've been doing for the last two years has really paid off so far, so I can't complain about it anymore. No. You, <laughs> you heard it there on video. It's recorded forevermore. I can no longer complain about your hoarding. Yeah. All right, the chicken poop investigation continues. We now know for certain that, where is she there? Magma is okay and Pepper is okay. So it's either Esther or Snowy at the back there. So we will continue to watch, continue to see who poops what. <laughs> and if we can't figure out which of these two birds it's gonna be, we may have to figure out a way of separating them until we can figure it out but I'm hoping that the apple cider vinegar that I've put in the water will clear them up I've also raised the water a little bit uh, where's the coop that side <laughs> I've raised the waters just behind the pillar there I put it on some bricks um, to just keep it off the ground because the girls do kick up the ground a lot in there and a lot of it was just flicking into the water so we want to make sure their water stays clean so I've lifted it off the ground about two or three inches um, and they're able to drink in it just fine and we have just we're only feeding them the, the layers mash instead of sprinkling the pellets on the grass for them to find and stuff so we're just trying to narrow things down and keep them as healthy as possible so we shall let you know what happens. All right, guys, we're on the next stage of gardening. Oh, I can't even look up that way. <laughs> we are planting Abigail's apple tree. Now she grew this tree from a seed from an apple she ate at nursery school. Is that right? Was she in nursery at that point? No, she was in, uh, she was in reception. Reception. Yeah, yeah. with Mr. Alban. At Northfields, Northfields Primary School, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't even know how it happened. She she kept the seed and she planted it here at home. Not here. She planted it in the home in Letchworth. In this pot. It had a couple of hard years. It had a couple of hard years, didn't it? Yeah. We, we did. thought we didn't think it was going to make it, but it has. It's it's a strong old thing, and it is surviving. And we didn't plant it into the house 
at Letchworth because we knew we were going to be moving here at that point. Yeah. So and we didn't we haven't planted it here because I don't know it's taken me this long. Yeah. Well, it's just taken us this long to feel settled in this house. That, and I think or am I speaking about myself? Because no, I, I, think you I are, didn't yeah. like this house initially. <laughs> I think you are. But I think um, for me, it was just all... We hadn't organised the garden. We didn't know where we were going to put stuff. Whether this bed was still going to be here, whether we are going to make it a different shape. And hmm. we've already made that mistake with the uh, lavender, which I'm going to have to... Maybe... Hold on. Let me turn this around and then they can see what we're talking yeah. about. So that's the lavender. Yeah. That's how how long has that been there? Two, a year. Uh, is this its second summer? Second summer, yeah. Second summer. Then we've got some new lavender growing down here. Yeah, which and it's kind of meant to follow. Yeah, we, we we this originally had a cut going into it. It was a really random, bizarre cut. Yeah. And we planted the lavender when we didn't really know what we were doing with this space. There's another bush there. So it's all kind of a bit higgledy piggledy. But we now have this really lovely curve that Andy's put into it. And we're going to try and at some point, I'm not sure if we'll do it this summer or winter, this winter, we'll move the lavender so that it actually follows the curve of the drive. We'll do it this autumn. Autumn, yeah. Dormant, yeah. Uh, but for now, we are finally, finally ready to plant Abigail's apple tree. It will be forever called Abigail's apple tree. Yeah. I, I think I'm even going to make a plaque to go in front of it. <laughs> Abigail's apple tree. All right, come on, my muscle man, plant that thing in. Here we go. I've no idea what's under there. We could be digging up all kinds of dormant flowers, but never mind. There was an old tree in there once upon a time, wasn't there, Andy? You mean the one I took out? Yeah. What well, was it? A hawthorn? Yeah. So it's not like this patch of land isn't used to trees. I just hope it survives underneath this great big monster. Thankfully, Scots pines are quite airy trees. You still get a lot of light underneath. So it should be doing all right. How long was it? How long have we had this tree? Like, how old was she when she brought that thing home? Four, five. If she was in reception, she'd be five. Is that all it was? Six. Oh, I just found a root of something. I think. Ah, it's an old root. Old root. Old root from the Hawthorn. It's all rotten. So yeah, so she was... She must have been five years old. Six at the very most. I think it was when they did their whole um, fruit eating thing at school. Yeah, every year they do a let's eat healthy project. Healthy eating, what healthy eating looks like, what bad eating looks like. And the school used to bring in fruit for the kids to try, so they had lots of different fruits. And uh, for some reason, Abigail decided to bring home the pips of her apple. And this is what grew from it. I think everyone was supposed to do it. I don't know if everyone was supposed to do it, but I think they said to them, when you tell something to Abigail like that, like, if you plant this, you'll get a tree... She'll believe you, and so she brought it home, and sure enough, she was like, we have to plant it, it'll grow into a tree. We said to, we tried to explain to her that that's not always the case with supermarket veggies and fruits, but sure enough, she has grown her very own apple tree. I have no idea what apple the seed came from. I have no idea what's going to grow on the tree. I mean... She might have left home by the time this thing's big enough to produce any kind of fruit. <laughs> what are you hitting? I haven't identified it yet. It's a root. It's a root. Don't tell me that Scots pine has reached all the way under here. 
it's a big thing, huh? Maybe we should just shove the whole foot back a bit. <laughs> Too late now. Too late now. It, it'll be fine. It'll grow around it. Will it though? Yeah. Won't they be competing for water? Yeah, it will. But there'll be plenty of it there. So. See, we live in quite a sandy area. You can see the soil's quite loose. Okay. Uh, We've got some nice multi-purpose compost going in there. Give you a bit of a, a kick start. Yeah. I really hope we don't kill this tree. That's, a, that's the positive outlook, honey. Oh, I just, I wouldn't be able to, or she wouldn't be, forgive us. If we killed her apple tree. Yeah, get out of the tub, yeah? Yeah, that's the hard bit. Find out just exactly. What the roots have done. Hey, let me see if she wants to be here. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Seriously. Sorry, hold on. Alright, here she is. There we go. You excited? Your tree is finally getting planted. Can you remember getting the seed from the school? You remember doing it? And you were like, Mummy, we're going to plant a seed. No, no, this was back in Northfields. <gasps> be gentle with that tree, man. What's, gro what's growing next to it? Is it lemon balm? Yeah. Are you actually going to plant it with it? Yeah. It doesn't like to grow, it doesn't like to grow like anywhere else. It loves to grow near, near my tree. Maybe. Are they best friends? Yeah. The lemon balm in the apple tree. Oh, you could totally make a story about that. Abigail, you need to write a story about the lemon balm in the apple tree. Oh! <laughs> Why wet? Oh, the water will just help it. If I plant it, put all this soil back, and then try and water it, the water won't get very deep. Considering we're supposed to be on lockdown, there's a heck of a lot of movement going on around here. Yeah, I know. It's like, what? No, I think it'll be all right. What do I know? Oh, I see. They were just swapping out on the driveway. Social distancing, people. Social distancing. You're going to try and water it, darling? No, this thing doesn't. This thing doesn't get much care from us personally, does it? <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't chop the edges so it wouldn't go round the side. No, well, I, I went to do that, and then I thought, oh no, hang on, it is, it is branching. It. It's got one branch. Second branch. There, so. Hang on, don't make it wet until I finish me. Don't get daddy wet. <laughs> I just don't want to make a mud pie when I don't have to. Mud pies, eh? I'm quite thankful that that was some, never something our kids wanted to do. <laughs> I know mud pie. You, no, you're not doing a mud pie. Even though I'm not a, the cleanest of wives or housewives, there's one thing I just can't stand and that's mess for the sake of mess. Aww. Tree. Oh, give it to Josh. He'll clean it up. In a, no, no, not right now. <laughs> clean it up properly. In the sink. I bet Josh had just dropped it when he was looking at the Probably could be, yeah. I don't think it was his. But it might have been. Hold the back end so you can lift it up as well. Okay. There you go. Go for it. Give it a really good soak. More, more, more. Empty the whole thing. Budding gardener. Oh, that's nice. That's nice to know. 
That's it, it's official. We live here. <laughs> That's it, the tree has been planted, there's no going back. That'll do. When the tree is fully grown, I'm going to be annoyed. Abigail, can you give, give the lavender some? These three here. These three here. These are lavenders? Yeah. They're just baby lavenders. No, no, more than. Oh. But there's not only that much water, Andy. <laughs> I thought there was more, than more, more! From the sky! You're supposed to pull it out from the sky. So, are you happy, Abigail? I'm more than happy. Good. Okay, one final bit of gardening push. We're desperately trying to empty this paddling pool <laughs> in a sustainable way, hey? Yeah. Well, well water. Waste the water. Yeah, no point in wasting the water. So we're just going back and forth and back and forth. By the way, I'm not following Andy with a camera. I have been doing this as well. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe it, are they? I have been going back and forth with a watering can, I promise. I just thought as we're down to the last couple of plants, I'd just catch Andy doing a bit of watering. <laughs> Oof. There we go, everything's getting the water. I've got to say, yesterday we noticed that somebody's put a bench on that little patch of green over there. And it looks really pretty. I'm shaking like a trooper, sorry. But yeah, it looks really pretty having a bench there, especially from our upstairs windows. You look through all that lovely blossom and you see this lovely bench. It actually just makes you want to go and sit on it. Which I guess is the whole point of a bench, isn't it? So there we go. Plants watered, paddling pool looks like it hasn't even been touched. Oh, we've got lots of roses in our front garden, which is lovely. I can't wait for all them to grow up. And now, an apple tree, getting an extra dose. I really hope that doesn't die. <laughs> if it does, I'm buying another one and putting it in there and Sneaky. faking it, yeah. yeah it's right. like when your goldfish dies and you buy another goldfish for your kid. <laughs> All right, I'm clocking on just to say goodbye, really. Um, this video ended up being a heck of a lot longer than I anticipated. But we got so much gardening work done today that I guess it just uh, it just dragged on. So start uh, finish rather as we started. Oh, being blinded by the sun. <laughs> so chicken watch has left us thinking that this lady here is the one that is sick. So we are going to talk tonight about maybe separating her somehow from the others and just keeping a close eye on her. Hey Esther, just follow me around. So there, that's it. So we managed to get quite a lot done today, Plant, replanted out some of the seedlings, Andy insulated the bike shed. We replanted an apple tree, we emptied out half the pool, but the rest of it is still there. Uh, we got our toilet paper delivery. <laughs> um, and uh, I, walking through the kitchen, I realized there's still so much more to do. We've got all this gardening stuff to put away. Connie only did half of her laundry chore today, so I have to finish up for her. Cheeky monkey. But yeah. So, I'm just trying to try and get out of the sun a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to pull this away. I'm going to say goodbye. If you are enjoying these videos, please comment. Let us know what you'd rather see or not see or hear less of me, maybe. <laughs> um, but please like, comment and subscribe if you can. We appreciate it. And see you guys later.